Hello again, this is Psycho Nerd with another one of my maps in the Halo 2 Anniversary Forge. This map is called Salvage and it's built on the Awash templates. It's the first one I've shown that's built on Awash. So, uh, this, my previous three maps have been very structural, they've all been very symmetrical and very organized. So this map I wanted to kind of get away from that, I wanted to do something that felt less artificial but while still had some kind of order to it. Uh, and so here's the map, here's this island. You can see there's lots of pieces around the island. Some pilot screwed up and out of the entire ocean managed to hit this tiny island with his big ship. You can see one of the ship's engines sticking out of the water there. But yeah, so then the crew and everyone on board decided to set aside their differences and just work together to survive and have no conflict whatsoever. Yeah, right, we've all seen Lost. If you haven't, you should check it out. You should definitely watch Lost, a great show. But first, you should watch this video and like this video and subscribe to my channel and watch all those other uh, and watch all my other videos, and then watch Lost. So this map, it's got uh, several different zones. There's this area behind the cliff, which is kind of a smaller area. Not a ton of weapons back here, but there's lots of places to hide. Uh, as you can see, there's this cave here. Uh, there's some rocks out in the water. Uh, th so there's lots of UNSC crap that landed on this island. This this stationary machine gun turret is the only thing that landed right side up. The only vehicle item. Uh, yeah, and there's only UNSC stuff. Here you can see there's a Gauss hog, which, uh, when it, about the vehicles, unlike Forge World and Forge Island, a wash Awash's oceans are not kill zones, but they are just a hard floor, which means you can walk or drive on them. To combat this, I have a trade zone that prevents all vehicle use, so if you drive into that, it kicks you out. And then there's a kill zone, which prevents you from walking away. Then, then there's this button here. It spawns an active camouflage power-up, which will turn you invisible. I want to say a couple of things about this real quick, though. First of all, the active camouflage power-up, if you pick it up in Forge, since it can only respawn with a button, if you pick it up in Forge and then save the map, it won't appear in uh, a game type. Also, I originally intended to make that button a radar jammer, which, when it was on, it would cause a, it would cause a trade zone to spawn, which would disable all radar. But you can make zones, trade zones, kill zones, they, can't, they don't work with the spawn channels like other objects do. So, um, yeah, fix that, 343. Here you can see just, this is a good view of the map. Here's a, here's a portable machine gun turret as opposed to the mount, the fixed one oh, over there. You can't get it upright and to use it as a turret, but you can punch it. It takes eight punches to knock off the machine gun. And, you can that. and there's, you can see I'm shooting at another warthog, which is just a regular warthog. Not the Gauss Hog. So we've got a couple of Warthogs, and here's the tank. What map would be complete without a tank? Well, actually lots of maps, but not this one. This map needs a tank, and the tank actually handles pretty well in the rough terrain. But there are some areas where it's kind of tough for the tank to go. So it's going to kind of be fun to see players get, I mean, they're tearing it up with the tank, then they get wedged. And they're stuck, and they have to give up the tank. Um, here, it, here you can get a closer look at the pieces of the ship. Uh, you can get, climb on all these pieces of the ship. Because, I mean, and the map has a very irregular shape, so the kill zone, the soft kill zone around the map, is just it's a height base. So it's just like a couple of inches above the water. You will, if you're standing there, you're in the zone, and then this the trade zone that kicks you from the vehicle is the same way. Um, yeah, so there's, I mean, the landscape is very rough, so there's lots of hiding spots, lots of kind of areas. There's this cave-like area in the middle. There's this sort of open area out by where the ship is. I mean, and there's just canyons and just cliffs and lots of interesting landscapes, and I feel like it has very definite lanes and definite different areas, even without it being super symmetrical and super uh, organized. Here, I'm gonna take a little walk back behind the cliffs. 
gotta make kind of a jump here. Um, I I screw up this jump. Watch that. Um, but yeah, it's the area back behind the cliffs. You can get up on the cliffs. It's definitely feels less artificial, but at the same time feeling like a good map. Uh. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, though, real quickly, it's about the tank, is that in Halo 2 Anniversary, most game modes, or at least most Slayer game modes, they have tank spawning disabled, meaning that if you spawn in in the game mode, the tank won't be there. You can fix this in the game settings under vehicle traits. And, um, yeah, that's about it. There aren't really any objectives or any team spawns on this map, because it's just a free-for-all type map. Not... There's not a ton of structure, there are no bases, so it'd be kind of hard to have objectives. But you can have lots of fun on this map without objectives. Or you can go into Forge and make objectives. And that's all up to you. So, thanks for watching this video, it's probably going on too long. Like, subscribe, and comment. If you've seen my other videos, you know how much I love comments. If you haven't seen my other videos, you should probably go ahead and go watch them. And, uh, well that's it. Download this map from my file share and stay classy, San Diego.